Hello, I'm Sarah Satch and today our video will be how to make this adorable dog bone. The free crochet pattern is on my blog and I'll put that in the comments. As you can see from back here, you can make this dog bone into a really cool fun purse or poo bag <laughs> or you can make it into a nice little dog mat. The main part of this video is going to be explaining to you how to do the corners. So let's go ahead and get started and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. The first thing you're going to need is a J-hook. <laughs> You'll need a needle with a nice big eye to sew your ends in and to sew on the, the dog bone applique if you want. And you're going to need either a chunky number five yarn that's washable, or you. today we're going to be using two colors, uh, or using two strands of worsted weight yarn. And, I, and I'm going to be using a beige and a cream. I like to use two strands of worsted weight yarn because it makes a nice, tight, thick weave on the mat, and also worsted weight is washable. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing, if you're going to use two strands, what I do is I use a strand from the middle and a strand from the outside. You have to flip your yarn around a lot, but I like doing it that way. Or if you have some leftovers, this mat is perfect in any colors. You can use your leftover worsted weight, put two strands together and just go for it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to chain 26 across. I'm going to show you this part of the, of the mat this way. When it comes to doing the corners, I'm going to move the camera down so you can see my hands. So what, what you'll do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Flip the yarn around a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. 26 chains across with double strands. Now, next we're going to turn and the chain one at the end of each row is only a turning chain, does not count as a stitch. You're gonna half double crochet, yarn over, put your hook through, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through all three loops. And you're gonna do that all the way across all 26, all 25 stitches, and you'll do this for 10 rows. And what you'll end up having, let me show you over here. I have already got two corners on, but what you'll end up having is a rectangle, two, four, six, eight, ten 10 rows. You see that on there? And that's the body of the mat. If you want your mat bigger, you can certainly make it bigger. You can add extra chains or extra rows and make it bigger, but you'll end up with a rectangle. Okay, now I'm going to move the, I've got two corners on, and I'm going to show you how to do the other two corners, and I'm going to move the screen down so that you can see my hands. Let's see if we can do it without too much squeak. There we go. Now, again, you'll be using two strands of yarn, and what you'll do is you'll count down two rows for your corner, and this is the complicated part. Here's one, and here's two. At the end of that row, you're gonna pull your yarn through and chain two. One, two. Then, on this corner, we're going to half double crochet five times. One, two, three, four, <laughs> Look, there's a bird in that window, that's funny, five. So you've got chain two, five double crochets in the corner, then you're going to chain two, one, two, and I want you to count down two stitches, one, two, and join to that second stitch with a slip stitch and then we're going to chain and turn. And that's the complicated part, that's row one, or row 11 actually. 
but row one of, I'm calling these the dog bone bumps. Okay, now for row two, you're going to half double crochet in each of those two chains. So here's one and two. Then you're gonna half double crochet in the next two half double crochets. I keep moving over, don't I? I'm so sorry, I'm gonna try to keep it over here where you can see it. One, two. So then you'll have four single crochet, or four half double crochets. And then you're gonna chain a half, half double crochet three times in that corner. One, two, my yarn over here, three, then you'll half double crochet in those next two half double crochets. One, two. Then you'll half double crochet in those last two chains. One. Pull my chain out a little bit. There we go. Two. Now I've got a little bit of a pull here because that's where I started. So I'll just kind of pull that down a little. Then we're going to go to the next row slip stitch there to attach and then chain one and turn so now we've got two rows of our bump all right the last one is relatively easy you're going to have double crochet in the next six stitches one two three four, five, six. Then you're going to put two half double crochets in that next stitch. One, and that just keeps it going around. Two, and then one half double crochet in the last six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and that's the three. And then, uh, of course, join to that next row and tie off. Let me grab my scissors here. There we go, tied off. Now, it's going to look a little bit I call it kind of jumbly or whatever, but it's okay. Because we're, after we do that, we're going to put an edge all the way around our dog bone. Let me show you how we do that. Let me get two strands here in my yarn. Oh, goodness, got me a little knot. <laughs> Nothing like having fun yarn bar. What you'll do, I know this one isn't on uh, yet, but what you'll do is you'll single crochet across, and I'm just going to just hook it in here so you can see how we do it. We're just going to single crochet all the way across here. You'll actually join back here at the beginning of where your bump is. You'll join right there, and then you'll single crochet across. I just want to show you how the bump will look, okay? Then you're going to put two single crochets in each of the stitches around the bump, okay? As one of the questions was, I didn't understand, the bump seemed disconnected, and this helps it all connect in. And the other one was it wasn't didn't feel like it was shaped right. And what happens when you put two single crochets in each single crochet around the bump, oops, missed one, there we go, you end up with a nice rounded bump. And I'm, I'm trying to go fast so I can show, I hate for my videos to be very long. I like them to be short and to the point. So you don't have to sit down for, you know, 45 minutes to an hour and watch a video. Whoops, two single crochets in each bump around excuse me, each single crochet around on your bump. Your dog bone has four bumps. All right, almost there, I got two more. One, two, and then the last one is right there. One, two, 
Then what you'll do is you'll come down to the center here between the bumps and you'll just put one single crochet in the end of each row. If I can... <laughs> it keeps getting stuck. There we go. <laughs> All right. And I usually try to put five in the center in between. One, two, three. And that gives it a nice enough uh, space and edge. Just like that. You got around your bump and see how that makes it um, nice and round. And then you go across here and then of course all the way around. And let me show you this other one we already finished. I'll move my screen back up. There we go. And this is the one that I did earlier. Now, see how you, you put your stitches in here and where you'll join is right here. And you'll single crochet across, two single crochets in each, single crochets in each bump, single crochets here, two single crochets in each bump, then you'll single crochet across the bottom, two single crochets in each bump, five single, single crochets here, two single crochets in each bump, and join. Now, if you're going to make this into the purse like I have behind me, you'll need to make two of these. And then what you'll do is you'll put them together and you'll crochet through both of them. For instance, if this was my purse, we'll do it this way. What you would do is you'd put them together and you'd start here and you'd just slip stitch all the way around, stitching them all together until you got back here. Then, instead of stitching through both rows, you'll stitch the top, then you'll stitch the other side, and then you'll make your handle. And that's really all there is to this dog bone. So, thanks for watching my video, and I hope this helped answer your questions. Have a great day.